What's going on YouTube, Gios right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to switch from the Checkmate jailbreak to the Uncovered jailbreak. So basically we're going to do this on iOS 13 and of course this is going to be pretty easy and in this tutorial we're going to cover all the steps. Now before we do that I would like to tell you about the Jailbreak Central Forum, it's a forum that I created, you probably know about it. It's basically a jailbreak help, jailbreak news forum in here where you can ask questions about you know errors and stuff like that and you can see tutorials and stuff like that. So check it out in the description down below. I I'm always here so I can reply to your questions. But anyways, this video is going to be about going from check rain, which is this one in here, to the uncovered jailbreak. Now these are two separate jailbreaks and I'm going to tell you why you should do this in the first place. Well I know that many of you tell me that check rain is actually quite stable, however it does have one major caveat and if you've been using check rain for a while you probably know it. The fact that at first it's not supporting Windows for the moment, you cannot jailbreak on Windows, which brings me to the second point which is the fact that it requires a computer every time you reboot your phone. You cannot just press on an application on the phone and jailbreak again like you would do with the Uncover. So basically you need a computer at all times and not any kind of computer, you need a Mac or a Linux machine. Which means of course that if you're on the go it's not possible to jailbreak unless you have a MacBook or of course a laptop with Linux at all times with you. Now the Uncover doesn't have that problem and it's also very very stable. So basically with the Uncover every time you reboot you have an application on the phone called Uncover, you press on it, you press jailbreak and you're jailbreak broken right on the phone, no computer needed. So I'm going to show you in here how to do it. At first you have to download the Uncovered jailbreak. You press download in here, you're going to get the latest version available which is in the IPA format. Now in order to sign that to your phone, you need to connect your phone and of course you have to follow this video in here if you're on Windows. This is how to jailbreak and how to install the Uncover, of course on Windows, using the Alt Store or Alt Server. Now this is very important because this jailbreak has to be deployed to the phone first. You have to install that application, the Uncover application. And that can be done on Windows with the uh, Alt Store. And on a Mac, you can use either the iOS App Signer, which is this one in here, or of course the uh, Alt Store. But at any rate, you have to install the Uncover first, which you get from here. And you can follow this tutorial in here, which is a little bit long, four minutes. So I'm not going to reiterate anything in here. Just check it out in the description down below. But as you probably know, the Check Rain jailbreak comes as a Mac OS or Linux executable, so you have to open it on the computer. So how do you get rid of it? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that before you jailbreak with the Uncover. So let me show you on the phone. So I'm here on the device, and as you can see, I am jailbroken with the Check Rain, and as you can see, I have the the application in here. We do have the Uncover already signed, but yeah, I did not approve it for the moment. We don't need it right now. We first need to clean the check rain from the device so that we can install the Uncover. Now, all you have to do is to open the uh, check rain application in here, which only appears if you are jailbroken with the check rain and, of course, in a jailbroken state. So, my CDA does run in here, as you can see from here. But now, all you have to do is to open the um, loader in here and press restore system. Now, this will remove everything, including the uh, tweaks and stuff like that, but it will not remove anything from your personal data. It won't delete your photos, it won't delete your contact and everything like that. Your personal data should remain intact but the jailbreak will be restored and of course it will be removed from the system and of course all your tweaks and themes will be uninstalled. So as you can see after a reboot you can see that I no longer have either Cydia or the Check Rain application installed. So basically it removed everything from the past jailbreak and the device is now in a clean state and we can safely use the Uncover. But if you press on it, if you didn't approve it yet, it's going to tell you this in here, which is basically untrusted developer. So in order to fix that you have to go here to settings and uh, go to general and then scroll all the way down to device management. You press in here, press on your Apple ID and press trust. Now we should be able to use the Uncover jailbreak with no problem. So I'm going to open Uncovering here and um, yeah as you can see it takes a while but it starts and it detected my phone running on 13.3. It's an iPhone 7 plus and I can press jailbreak in there. Now after I press jailbreak the device will reboot once and then I will have to press again. So I'm going to press jailbreak again in here. Now if you get this notice in here this one is only a first time notice. So it's basically going to tell you that the uh, snapshot will be renamed and of course the rootfs will be remounted and at this point your device will be rebooted. After the reboot you have to open open the uncover again and press jailbreak again. So yeah, after a restart I press jailbreak again here and now the jailbreak is of course running. It says in here read jailbreak which means that the jailbreak has already completed. Now I can open Cydia with no problem in here and as you can see everything works fine and really the main difference is that you can actually jailbreak with this uh, jailbreak in here on the go. Now every time you need to jailbreak your device after a reboot you open the uncover application in here and you press the jailbreak button and that would basically be it. It takes a couple of seconds. So yeah this is actually how you do it and as I said Cydia works pretty fine in here no problems. So yeah definitely recommended. Thank you for watching I am Geosnow 
until the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.